Hello and welcome back to the Meddlesome Mind Flayers. So, you ever see those posts online that show you a map like this and say, spot the player character? You, well, you might be like, hey, maybe it's Thay, maybe it's Evereska, maybe it's the Army of Darkness. No, no, the player character is actually all the way down here, hidden under the word Silvery Moon. This is us. It's not great. Things are not going great. Um, we have some troops. I believe. Let me have a look here. Yeah, some would be the correct description of that. Um, we are in three wars, which are all bad. So this is to make... So this one we're secondary in, so we don't need to worry about it. This one we're, is a primary war, so they're trying to take the rock shells, which I believe is ours. And then this one is the Beard's Coast, which is somewhere else. Or Beast Coast. Yeah, it's right down there. Uh, so, Rock Shaws, I believe, is like one of the one. Wait, am I on the right one? No, there we go. That's why it didn't look right. It's this bit right here they're trying to take off of us. But there's nothing we can do about it. Essentially, we just have to wait for our leash to win one of these wars for us. So, that's my plan. We need an, uh, to nominate a successor for Zen Tareem. Well, we're not eligible because we're a eunuch. So, uh, well, we're not going to do that. We have an idol council member who is our marshal. I should probably get them to re um, making some of our lands a little bit more filled, but we'll see. I could also join the war here. Yeah, I could join the war on this side and potentially help. How many troops do you have? 1.2. How many does the other one have? 600. So we could help and join in and keep our land. That's a possibility. I think our liege is winning it anyway. Yeah, there was a couple of good battles, so I might just ignore it for just now and just start reinforcing. Yeah, I think I might reinforce Loudwater, just get it a little bit um, filled up, so we'll do that. And then we'll just hey, on pause, basically, and let things roll. Hopefully our liege wins the war for us. I don't know. Uh, they appear to be sieging the rock shells right now, which is not ideal. They're going to assault that down, and that'll be theirs in no time. They might not even assault it. Oh, never mind. There's a large army from Silvery Moon. All right. Go Liege! You did it! Fantastic. Uh, well, that's actually Liege's Liege, but whatever. You know, it's, it, it's an improvement. It's a positive step. Right. 100%. And... We no longer have a war which is directly affecting us. Isn't that great? Uh, so we now have about 3,000 troops. I'm just checking. So we're still reinforcing here. Uh, we need to go back to reinforcing on that one at some point. Just seeing what else we have. Yeah, so we probably need to reinforce this one as well at some point, although it's only 100 troops or so. Yeah, I know. We'll, we'll, we'll go a couple months and then we'll think about maybe, I don't know, declaring a war or something? I'm not entirely sure what our strategy is right now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. We did lose a siege, but that's them sieging our territory. That's just some random raider sieging our territory. There's absolutely zero we can do about that. Uh, but that's okay. How many troops do we have now? Uh, we have 3.2. These guys are pretty much reinforced. I'm going to switch them back over here. Now, does that keep them reinforced? or Let's see, because that should change the number of troops. Yes, perfect. So it did keep the f full number of troops. And so we're now reinforcing this one, which gives us an extra 600 overall if we can get there. So we have a lot of troops in theory. We just don't have a lot of troops in practice. As in, we, we have a lot that we can get access to eventually. Yeah, so we're getting about 100 a month right now, which is okay. 100 a month is something we can work with. Uh, how many are we at now? Just over 3,000? Yeah, just over 3,000. So 100 a month does sound about right. So about, in about seven months' time, we want to be looking at doing something. Invite to plot. You would like to kill her. No. Why, why, why would I join that plot? There's just zero reason. There's no positive on my side for joining that plot. Okay. Um, How many are we at now? That's fine. Or that one. I'd say you should probably check here. Yeah, so another four months. So when that gets to six, that's when we want to be attacking someone. The true... Ubation Reformation. Ooh, so we've had um, basically somewhere it's gone reformed. Don't need to worry too much about it. Won't affect us in the slightest. It'll be somewhere off in the distance. But you know, it's cool. Uh, we have a lot of money. We could potentially mercenary something if we want to mercenary something. Is there, there are options. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. I think we're good. I think we're good. 
yeah, we're pretty much fully reinforced. So how many troops do we have right now? We have 3.9. Okay. How many does our liege have? 2.8. So if we were just fighting our liege, we'd be able to destroy them. However, our liege is currently underneath this person of Silvery Moon who has 14,000 troops. How do they have 14,000 troops? Uh, because they have 6,000 event spawn troops, essentially. Which is a bit annoying. There's not really a lot you can do against 6,000 event spawn troops. Uh, so how do we get either in charge of Zentarim or get independence? Hmm. Well, ideally we want to die if we want to get in charge of Zentarim because we'd want to not be a eunuch anymore. Because being a eunuch is a real pain. Um, I mean, our air isn't really very good, but, you know, at least we wouldn't be stuck in the situation. However, it's not really getting us anywhere. We could declare a war against these guys to try and get some extra land and just make ourselves more powerful. That's a possibility. It's not the worst idea in the world to just try and you know, grab a little extra power. I mean, these guys have 2.9k troops, which uh, they have a couple of alliances as well. So the problem. Oh, actually, you don't have any troops. So this one. Yeah, so they have about 5,000 over there. So it's not ideal, but we could potentially attack them. Um, just thinking about this here. Have we got anyone else? Oh, how about you? You're allied to a couple of people. And you have more troops. Okay, so you're not a good choice. Anyone else? You're probably underneath someone. Yeah, you're underneath Desarin, so we can't attack you. Evereska, we cannot attack because they're too strong. Although, they're not as strong as they were, but I think their troops are better than our troops. Uh, like they're just simply worth more. Hmm. Just seeing who else is on our border. Yes, yeah, so we can't do anything there. If we want to get... um in charge of our liege's stuff. I mean, we could declare a war, like, we could play something. Uh, I guess we can't push ourselves up, but we could overthrow. What does that do? It seeks to remove them. Now, I can't remember whether overthrow is the one that just makes them... Yeah, I can't remember whether overthrow is the one that just makes them uh, abdicate, or whether it's the one that switches... Uh, like, it, it just gives it to, the, like, the most powerful person in the faction. Let me have a look. I want to see what it says. Um, so, abdicates in favor of the most liked vassal in the land. Ah, well, we're not going to do that then. Uh, because obviously, you know, that won't work out very well for us. We're not very liked. I mean, how many vassals does he have? Four. Yeah, so we would probably be... I'd probably go to someone like Urtus or something like that. Not really what we're looking for. We could go for independence, and we do have 150% of his power. And we know that as long as this person is in another war, they will not join this war. So there's a possibility that this works out well for us. Hmm. We basically need to declare the war, and then just walk straight down south. There's a possibility that works out for us. I mean, we've tried it before. What's the war score? They control the land, lost a battle. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not looking great right now. Hmm. Yeah. So, where where exactly is our liege's land? It's very difficult to tell because it's all spread out. Uh, so, if I go to our le direct leash. So, we would take all of this away. We would then need to come down here and try and win some battles. We would get taking war score as well. Hmm. Yeah, this is a problem because there's nothing for us to siege down. It's going to be very difficult for us to actually win. If we could force somebody else into it though, that'd be great. Um, could we buy a favor from green fields potentially? No, they don't want one. Uh, who? Well, green fields would be a perfect second person in actually. Is there anything I can do to get a favor from you? Can I... I can't cast magic, can I? No, I don't have any magic to cast. So why does he not want a favor? Just purely because he doesn't like me. Yeah. Pretty much. Alright, how much is a gift? Gift gets us 46. Let's start off a gift. Okay, we're investing in thinking about this. So it was minus one. We could offer him a concubine... Which he would say yes to. Wait, uh, let me go back. That wasn't. That's not giving opinion. Why is that not giving opinion? Does it have to be... Close relatives are the only ones that give opinion. Ah, okay. So that's not going to work. We could offer to join his war. 
to revoke Firewine. This would increase his opinion of me. Right? Because we're in a war. Uh, is he winning his war to revoke Firewine? Uh, he is. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's let's join this war. Let's see what he says. I'm hoping he says yes. That re-evaluates things a little bit. So we get 15 for joined wars. By favor. He's plus one with us. Um, I could assign a guardian, but it only works if it's a close family member. I could give him a vassal. I would only give him like 10 opinion. It's not really worth it. Is there anything else I can do for a tiny amount of opinion? I don't think there is. I could sway him. You know what? Let's sway him as well. I'm not going to join his war. I'm just going to sway him. Let's see what we can do. I need him in our faction because he's so strong. Uh, peasant accused of murder. Oh, hang him. Definitely. Hey, we're diligent. Fantastic. All of our stats go up. That is amazing. So does that give us enough? Doesn't quite give us enough for an extra domain. Does it make this guy like us more? No. Okay. Well, you know, it was worth having a look at. But we're getting there. So our plan right now, invite this person into the faction. Once he's in the faction, I just want to show you, like, Zentarim becomes just that. Right? Once he's out. Which is great for us, obviously. That's, that's a huge position for us to be in. If we can make it happen. But we'll see. We'll see. Um... Yeah, we just need some of these sway events to fire eventually. I don't know how long it takes on this one. Um, one of the nice things they added in CK3 was a little thing that said like, hey, it's going to fire in, like, you know, a little timer, a little circle going, you know, we're about 50% to it, to the next event or something like that. This one, you just have to kind of wait and hope. Ooh, Najara became independent of Evereska. Interesting. Okay. That probably means Evereska, I was thinking maybe one of them died. Okay, the war was won. So we were previously in a war. She should like. Yeah, join my war. He still likes that. Demand independence. I don't want to do that. I forgot I was still in the faction. I'd very much like this guy to join me. Oh, one of... Uh, wait, I've become a leper? Oh, no. Um, General opinion goes down by 20. Well, that's not good. I would definitely say that's not good. He, there is nothing he can do. I inherited the barony of Littlewood. Oh... That's a lot of stuff I got from that one. Where is Littlewood? It's over here. Uh, well, I'm not allowed to hold it, so I will create a new vassal who should be, uh, yep, should be an Ithalid like we are, which is cool. We need an open, we have an open council position uh, for court scribe. A lot of these people don't like me. I send them a gift. Still doesn't like me. Right, you. I'll send you a gift. Yeah, cool. Then you can fit in that position. That's fine. Um, okay, so what do I want to talk to this guy about? A poem about his deeds uh, or his realm? Okay, let's see what he's like. Halfling, bright, shrewd, zealous, trusting. I think I'm going to write about his deeds. Let's see. I don't know if this is going to be good. He didn't like it. Oh, well, that's pretty bad. Not a good start. Not a good start. Oh well, we're getting there. We have uh, almost a thousand gold now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I'm going to upgrade this with... Maybe keep? How much does it cost? 400? Sure, we'll upgrade the keep. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Gets a, a few extra troops, which will be nice. We have 168% of the strength. We still really want the other group in here as well. But we'll see what we can do. Um, 500, just seeing anything else that we need to look at. Nothing there. Hmm. Yeah, I really need this guy to like me. But this, it's very difficult to actually make that happen, especially with, given that we made him not like us. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, basically just hoping that we get the sway events. That's our main worry right now. Um, oh. Someone has bribed his way and got someone to claim on my realm. That's not really ideal. Just thought of something else we could be doing right now. I could be switching this guy to improve diplomatic relations with them here. So let's see how that goes. Um, my opinion of this guy went down because he's now got to claim on one of my titles. How many troops do we have now? 
Uh, 4.2, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. If we can get the other guy in, I think we can get independence immediately, which is why I'm kind of pushing for it. But we'll see. I just need his opinion of me to go up. I'm going to mark him as special interest right now, so I can see. Oh, he already was marked as special interest. Still doesn't like me. Okay. Uh, I'm now disfigured. Oh, wonderful. Um, my diplomacy went down by four. Well, that's not really going to help him like me. Yeah. Hey, this guy's cured me of one of my diseases. Who is he? He's just, uh, oh, he must be d just some random in Zentarim. Oh, wonderful. What is, he's a renowned monk, a renowned lone wolf, and a renowned warlock. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, thank you very much. Which one did he cure me of? Leprosy? No. Wait, he cured me of... Disfigurement? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, whatever. I'm gonna ask this guy to spend some time with me. Uh, he has joined me. Okay. Uh, so we can get 15 opinion. Yeah, let's go for 15 opinion because of our high diplomacy. Hey, it did actually help us getting rid of that um, disfigurement. He still doesn't like me. He's he's not a huge fan. Uh, yeah, because Leper was minus 20. It's pretty much a big uh, problem for us here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you know what I could do? Wait a couple seconds and see what war this guy joins. Um... You implore me to advise... I implore you to advise me in matters of politics so I may serve my leash as admirably as you serve yours. Sure. Why not? Just seeing. What one did they... It doesn't look like Silvery Moon's joined one of these wars yet. Uh, he owes me a favor. We've become close friends. So who is he? Just some random and Desserine. Okay. And his stats were increased. There's not really an awful lot I can do with a favor. But hey, whatever. Doesn't look like Silvery Moon is joining any of these wars, which doesn't seem right to me, given what happened to us previously, but we'll see. We have a dangerous faction. Okay. Again, not ideal. Hmm. How many troops do we have compared to our leash? 172. Yeah. Is there anyone else who could join? Let me just check my liege's... Um, yeah, my liege's vassals. This is the only other person who could join, is Yepsk. And he does, will not accept a favor. Oh, he does like money a lot, though. Let's send him a gift. Right, how do you feel now about uh, a favor? Yes, okay, we'll buy a favor. He has zero troops currently, but... That's somebody else who we can drag into this faction. Uh, so let's do it. Let's drag him into the faction. Ask to join factions. By ask, I mean we've dragged him in, kicking and screaming. There's two people in. Now we just need green rest. And I just need a little extra opinion. Somewhere. One of the wars that we're about to lose? What one war are we about to lose? The Kalashate War for Alamar. Oh, so for that, for that duchy? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's going to go really bad. Okay. So that's done. So where's our liege now? What land does he hold? Um, listen, what direct land does he hold? He only holds a barony? Wow, he's now incredibly weak. Uh, the guy just left the fa- Oh, I guess he just took the other vassal's land. So that vassal now no longer exists, maybe? So back out to our le Yeah, so we're now the only two vassals in the realm. Alright, uh, interesting. So how strong is our liege? I just wait till the end of the month. He's stronger than he was. What? How, how did that happen? Doesn't seem right. Um, interesting. Did he hire troops or something? From vassals. Okay. Interesting. He did destroy the duchy that he had, though. Um, board minus 10. Yeah, it's from my uh, poem. That only lasts for another three years. Unfortunately, Leper is forever. And John, my war is about to run out as well. Hmm. How long ago does the gift, like, where does the uh, gift go? So I'm just checking here. Gift will go away in another two years. So we're going to have to send another gift in another two years if we don't get his opinion up. Okay, well, we'll try it. Let's see. Uh, You're still in a couple of wars. 
What other wars have we got? Oh, the Dejure War for the Rock Shaws, of course. Perfect. That's uh, my land. Oh, I'd like it if you'd win that one for me. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's only uh, 120% now. This guy's just getting stronger and stronger. Yeah, from Vassals keeps going up. Hmm. Yeah, because this guy's getting more strength. I need him in the faction for it to work, I think. Uh... I'm not going to lose gold for anything. I don't think we need to lose gold. I do need to get this sway working, though. Hey, I'm no longer stressed. That's a good one. Still doesn't give me quite enough to get an extra domain size, but hey, we're getting there. I'm going to ask this guy to uh, like me better. Let's see what happens. He was unmoved by my concern for him. Hmm. All right, well. You know, keep trying. What I could do is I could pivot to a carousing one. I don't believe we're going to lose any domain size. We could ask him to carouse with us. Sure, let's do that. So I'm going to switch. And then I'm going to go to him. I'm going to invite him to carousing. Let's see what happens. You might say no. I cannot join you. Ah, well. Does he like me any better because I increased my my diplomacy? A little bit, but not a lot. Okay, well, it was worth a try. We do have all of our land being sieged by raiders and by uh, boars, which is a little annoying, if I'm honest with you, given that we need those troops to fight, but whatever. Um, Nobody accepted my invitation, so I'll have to postpone it for later. Can I invite him again? No. Okay. Uh, he's still, yeah, still not quite there. Could transfer a couple of vassals to him, but it's still not going to quite work out the way we want it to. I just need, like, one of the really good sway events that's just, like, positive opinion, no downside. But it's very difficult to, well, there's no way to force that to happen, I believe. Where's, uh, Silvery Moon? Should they not be joining in on this war? They only have 3,000 troops? Maybe we just declare? If they only have 3,000 troops, we might be able to make this work. I mean, I know our land is currently being sieged, which is a little annoying. We, we could break off into independence now. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, I am going to call... Yeah, I'm going to just... Direct... I can't do this? Why not? No realm title is occupied. Oh. So we need this siege to be won. Before we can get out of this. Hmm. That's very annoying. Yeah, they're, I think the raider sieging down first was good for us there. Are you desieging? Please finish your desieging. I actually can't see siege progress, which is interesting. Oh, they must be on the lower ones. Yeah, so the top one's no longer sieged. They are about to take a uh, lork, though. Um, Not worried about that one. Oh, no, they're just raiding. Oh, they're just being truly, truly awful people. All right. Well, good to know. Uh, can I raid enough to go and siege these down? Yeah, probably. Right? No, oh, no, not them. Do I have any, like, reasonable troop numbers somewhere? Uh, I could raise up a couple. Yeah, sure. Let's raise up these and move them to Spellguard. I just want to... I just want to help with the siege. There we go. Move over here. We just lost someone. Our steward. Uh, we can select a new one. They will go collect me money in my capital. Right. There we go. So it's 40%. Uh, I'm going to use my stewardship knowledge to make this guy like me. Let's see what happens. He liked me. Plus 15. We're in positives. I only need another, uh, you know, 50 opinion. Okay, no land is currently sieged. I have 3,300. How's the percentages looking? We have 212% of our liege's power. Let's go. Let's fire it. Then war it is. Okay, right. Slow it right down. Pause. Base up all of our troops. These guys are going to raise here. We will then hire some mercenaries. I have a holy order. Can't hire it. Okay. So we're looking for total strength. 
These guys cost a lot per month, but we have the we have enough to afford them, so we'll we'll buy them. All of you are gonna disband for just now, and we'll get you back in a minute. I don't believe that Silvery Moon should join, and even if they do, I don't believe they have the troop numbers to make it work. Okay. Let's merge up. Okay. Uh, you, you got the guy to like me just after we declared the independence stuff. Wonderful. We're saying advisor, can't fill in that position. We can fill in the extra commander positions, though, that we have. We have a position for Rafi. And a permission... Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, and a position for that guy. So, let's see. You're pretty good. Um, we don't have anybody who's leading the center, so we'll go with you. You. And you. Just march our way over. You should get taking war score. Yeah. Although they did just get Silvery Moon and this guy to join them. I don't know who that guy is. So it's 3,000. Okay, so they don't really don't have a lot of troops left, which is nice. Okay, my acquaintance died. There's Silvery Moon's troops. Okay. Where you going? You're heading down here. Chase you down there. Kill, kill his troops. Nice. So we've now won a battle. We want to head back up here. Except, first of all, we want to raise up all these uh, all these troops that are currently not raised. You two can probably not come because we don't need you. rest of you merge up here because you're on the way. Right. Did lose a battle, apparently. Oh, they, they caught our troops on the backside. It's unfortunate. Uh, we'll leave those guys there. We'll head back and win this battle. Right, what are we missing? A commander. New commander is Hemo. That's fine. We're good. Let's attack. Where are you going? You're going into Lonely Moor. Chase them. They're heading into Dawn Pass. Alright, apparently it's quicker to go this way. They're merging up in Lorik. This is our fight right there. It is Hills. They're running, which probably means that we're good. Can I wait till... Are they locked? They're locked. Okay, I'm going to wait here a second. Then I'm going to attack in. The reason I did that is so that the 1,000 troops were not in the battle. We've doubled their troop counts. We have reasonable commanders. We hired mercenaries, so our troops are good. This is a good battle for us. Nice. Okay, now we attack in here. Again, winning another battle. Wonderful. Who are you? Who's... Oh, the raiders. Okay. I was like, how did you get another 4,000 troops? Alright, so I, want, I don't want to go through the raiders. I want to go, like, down here and attack this way. Um, we get ticking war score as long as we hold all of our provinces. So, as long as we don't give away anything, we should constantly be winning. Yeah. Okay, back up here. Wait for them to lock. They're locked. Okay, attack into Orim. We destroy them. We got raided. That's okay. Raided is fine. We now want to head down, around, and up. Cool. They're, they're kind of leaving us alone here. We've lost justice. That's fine. Head over to Southwood. Keep chasing. Keep an eye on our territory. And down to the rock shawls. We are losing money while this war is going on, but we should be fine. Uh, I'll get the extra opinion with that guy. Okay, keep chasing. Wait, how many of you are actually against us? Oh, not nearly that many. Okay, back up here. You're marching your way down to Loudwater. You're locked. Let's attack. Destroy him. Lost a siege, but I believe that, yeah, that was raiders again. Okay. So, 81%. I don't see any enemy near us. Um, let this continue ticking upwards. Are those guys enemies? Who are you? You're raiders. Okay, well, you know, whatever. 89. Trying to keep an eye on all... There we go. Went ahead over here. Trying to keep an... Wait, whoa, what did we get sieged? What? How did we just lose, like, 100 war score? Never death and never winter. Wait, what? 
What did we just loot? What? what? Lost control of Never Death and what? What province is Never Winter? Is that not right way up to the the uh, north? Never Winter. We hold land in Neverwinter? Oh my lord. I didn't even know we held this land. But somehow we lost control of it. That's... I hate that. That is awful. That explains why there was no, no Silvery Moon troops anywhere. We have to send all of ours over here because it's 80% war score. So... Uh, yeah, assault back down. Alright, we're now at 94. Back over here. They're, they're now sieging this land. Alright, one one more tick. I'm gonna slow it right down. I think they're gonna siege it on the last possible tick. Yep. On the tick where we would have got it, they siege that deck down. That's so annoying. Oh, the raider why are the raiders sitting on in our territory? Like I don't get why they just sit there. Oh there we go. Fantastic, they're moving. There's no reason for them to sit in our territory. I mean, they can go to our territory, obviously, but, like, sitting in it is just weird. All it means is I have to go round them. Yeah, beat them up. Okay. Back over here. To Romy. Assault down. Assault down. There's 100%. Have we actually done it? Enforce demands. We are independent. Whew. I will dismiss all of these uh, troops. That is us. Full power independence. We need a new steward. This guy hates me for like a ton of reasons. Um, you're going to be my steward. Okay. Collect me money. What's this one? Crown focus. Uh, Southwood. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.